Why did it take Wimbledon so long to award equal prize money to men and women? And how did you ever get Prime Minister Tony Blair and the British Parliament on your side? Usually it takes forever to get anything through Parliament or Congress, but you actually caused incredible change. It was, it was amazing, to be honest. Uh, there hasn't been equal prize money since the open era started sometime in, I don't know, the 60s. And um, when you looked at the prize money check, the disparagement wasn't even that large, you know, to, especially toward the end. It was, you know, $25,000 sometimes, or 30000 something not very large, but it was a principle of the matter. And I think for these committees, a lot of times it was hard to, to make a move on the principle and say, okay, we're wrong, we need to change it. So um, through lots of lobbying and extensive work over time, it changed and it took a couple of years. But it was crazy because the, the tour would go into the Grand Slam meetings and make a presentation and every year it's like the stamp of rejection would come back on the paper. So after like 35 years to get it done was amazing. You have won seven Grand Slam single titles and 14 Grand Slam doubles titles. Which one stands out for you the most and why? Impossible to pick. Um, each one was so different. Um, Maybe you could describe one that was really moving for you. Well, maybe um, 2005 Wimbledon. It's hard to pick one, but I mean, this was a tournament, and when I went, I, th I was just coming back from an injury, I think, and everyone's like, oh, she won't win, she can't do it. And in tennis, they love to try to retire you immediately, like, <laughs> they do. And like, Brett Favre, he's 39, they're begging him to come back, or he's like 45, but in tennis, God forbid you hit 24, she's done, get her out, where's the cane, you know? So they're like, oh, she's done, she'll never do anything again, and of course, people, you know how it is with sports and media. So uh, that tournament, no one picked me, and I picked myself and uh, to come through in that event. And it, was, it happened to be the longest women's final, uh, I guess, in history. Obviously, there's been another match that's crazy recently. I'm sure you guys, <laughs> wow. But for the women, it was a really long match. But um, to come out on top of that was, um, very exciting. I don't keep trophies in my, my room, like my bedroom, but that one I put by my bed because it meant a lot to me. Uh, just coming back and just um, never accepting that it, it couldn't be done. Talking about Wimbledon, why is grass your best surface, do you think? Because I'm a bully. <laughs> <laughs> grass is fast. I like to play, play fast, hard, strong, and just bully people around, push them around the court. and That's my game. Um, so that's the explanation. The question that many uh, think is, what is the rivalry and what is it like when you play your sister Serena? We've been pro for half of our lives, so we play each other, the best one wins, and hopefully it's not me losing. So do, do you <laughs> that's play, how I look at do it. Do you play her as a sister or as a professional? How do you view her when you're actually playing? I, across the net, I'm like, gosh, I don't want, I don't want her to hit a winner. You know? <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure she doesn't hit a winner, that I'm hitting the winner. So I, I guess that's a professional view. <laughs>